Now, you might think about the material when someone says the word flax. And that's made with the stems and it's made into rope and twine and linen. And we're not going to talk about that today, but it's from the same plant. We're going to talk about today is the seeds. The seeds are what we eat. Now, it originated in the Mediterranean around India and then later on it went to Ethiopia and ancient Egypt. But it's a beautiful plant and it's blue flowers and it's low growing and it's just beautiful. But the seeds are what we eat. And what we have here is the two basic kinds of seeds. They have brown, which is really pretty, and they have yellow. And there are some other kinds that are a little lighter than, the, than these and a little darker. But the seeds can't be eaten too much like they are because it'll just go straight through us. And so we usually grind it up. And this is ground meal. It's called flax meal. And it is a very um, tenuous product because it goes rancid quite well. You'll buy it and it usually comes in a package that you can't see through. Um, and then you have to use it. So the best way to store these three is in the freezer or the refrigerator because they have so much oil in them. Now the linseed oil or flax oil, which is the same thing, is used for um, commercially in a lot of things. Uh, as obviously as one is linseed oil that was used to, to dry uh, oil paint. But the flax oil is what we get from the seeds. Now in the United States, most of the flax is grown in North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, and Montana. And most of that really goes to the commercial, commercial things that they do. Um, so we want to use the flax oil that we can get out of these seeds and the, the product that you end up with is really remarkable. With the ground flax meal, one of the things that vegans and vegetarians use it for is to substitute for eggs. And to do that, you have three tablespoons of water. You add a tablespoon of flax meal and it dissolves. You see that? And then you let it sit for a minute or two and then you add it to your dish in place of eggs. Now the benefits of flax is a lot. They have lignans and they have omega-3 fatty acids uh, and they have fiber. And the fiber you have to be careful of because if you use it for the fiber, be sure and drink a lot of water. Um, it's the best thing you can do is to buy flax because even sprinkling some of the seeds on will help and, and even in some vegan cu cooking the seeds will add a little texture to things but don't add too many so I hope you go out and buy it because flax is good for you